Hello everybody, welcome to the TV10 Studios. My name is Jacob Karash. And today, we're gonna to be talking about focal lengths. So let's get right into the video. Hello everybody. So today we're we'll talking about focal lengths, which is the pretty much the zoom range of your camera lens. That's the simple term for it. So currently I'm shooting at a 50 millimeter focal length, which is the most accurate to the human eyeball. So this is the most natural looking focal range that is out there. Now what you want to do for shots like this is you want to get more accurate to the human range or the eyeball range. So you want to have your camera farther away. Like my camera is about five or six feet away from me right now. And that 50 millimeter zoom is very accurate to the human eye. It's not um, kind of distorting the image or making it look too flat or too outwards and too wide like a 28 millimeter would, which shows a, the full surroundings, which is not necessary, especially for a video like this. You want to kind of tighten up that shot. You don't need to see everything around me, like my curtains and my lights and everything that's going on. Then there's a 35 millimeter, which is a little bit closer, a little bit tighter in, but still a pretty wide shot. I would use that for medium shots um, of getting a small group of people or um, ones that are kind of close to the person, but not extremely close. Then again, like I said, I would use the 50 millimeter lens for interviews and things like this. What I would suggest is using a 50 millimeter, millimeter lens directly up front if you're doing a forward shoot like we are where I'm staring into the camera and then use a 100 millimeter or an 80 millimeter if you're doing off to the side too so you can get a little bit more distance and a different kind of feel to it. Then up there is 60, uh, 60 millimeter lens which is a little bit more cropped in than this one and I would use that more for getting some tight shots from something a little bit farther in the distance. And um, I would do the same thing for like a 75 millimeter lens or something like that. And then the 80 millimeter lens, like I said, um, you can use it for a second camera as a um, interview shot, or you can really do a lot with it. Zoom in if you need to be a little bit farther away from something or an object. I would usually do it to um, get really get some distance from a small object that you're trying to film like a lamp or a book or something and then kind of bring down the depth of field to get that really serious blurry background bring that aperture down maybe like f stop 1.8 or 2.0 and then um, focal length especially on like a kit lens like I'm using right now kind of switches and you kind of have to mess with the f-stop because the f-stop doesn't stay the same throughout the entire thing like at 28 millimeters it can go down to f-stop of 3.7 and then if you go past 50 millimeters it can only do an f-stop of um, f 4 point, or 5.6 which is what I'm using here and then if you wanted to use like a 50 millimeter prime lens it can go down to um, uh, f-stop of 1.8 or something like that so I would suggest using a prime lens if you're going to um, get some close-up shots. You really need that serious, shallow depth of field. But if you're doing something like this, a kit lens work, works perfectly fine, gets enough blur, and looks decent. But that's all I had to really say about focal lengths. Just giving you a quick uh, talk about it. And um, so I should finish this video here because it's getting late and I have to edit this before I go to bed. So um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. Click that notification bell. And if you'd like to work with us, um, either apply for a position here or work, uh, have us work on a project for you, totally open to do that. Just email us at tb10studios at gmail.com. All right. See you guys in the next video. Spoiler alert. Got a new lighting kit. So we're going to be talking about that in the next video. Let's go.